Hello again, everybody. It's the Reverend Jay Goldstein, and welcome to another episode of Doodling with Reverend Jay. Today's episode, we're going to be drawing a mushroom. And mushrooms aren't that difficult to draw. They're only made up of two parts, the stem or bottom part and the cap. So let's get started. Now, unlike the tree we did yesterday, the stem is going to take most of the mushroom sh uh, height, whereas the trunk only takes up a small amount of the tree's height. So we're going to start a little bit higher, and we're going to make a smooth, somewhat curved line that goes down and to the left. Then we're going to go up a little bit to the right and make a line that follows that line, but when it gets down to the bottom, curves to the right. Then to cap off or top the uh, stem, just a curved line will do. Next we're going to start on the cap. To make the underside of the cap, start a little bit below the top of the stem and make a circle or a oval that goes around and winds up on the same level as you started. Then all you have to do is find the point all the way on the left side here and make a circle to the point all the way on the right side here, or a half circle, a curved line, an arc. Do you guys know any other words for curved line? Leave them in the comments. So we're almost done. Like always, I enjoy shading. So what I'll do is start by shading the stem like that, by just making little lines that go about halfway across the stem there. And you're going to want to make the ends of the little hash marks line up in some way so that it looks like a shadow. After that, we're going to detail the bottom of the mushroom cap with these nifty little lines. And they should be slightly curved and reasonably even with each other. Next, we're going to shadow the top of the mushroom, or the cap of the mushroom. And you're going to want to consider how much you've uh, shadowed the stem when you consider how much you want to shadow the top. In this case, the light source is coming from this direction, and the shadows are on this direction. I'm not particularly good at it. I think there's supposed to be some shadow here also. So I'll do that, which doesn't look terrible. Well, to finish off our mushroom picture, I'm just going to make a little bit of grass. Just squiggly lines to represent grass. And we're done. We have a picture of a mushroom. What does your picture of a mushroom look like? If you enjoy this video, please hit the like button, the share button, subscribe. There'll be plenty of more ways to draw. To doodle. I'm the Reverend Jay Goldstein. Ta-da!